Hello, dear friends. This is Ewell Humphreys, and I'm here to share with you a word from the Lord, a word from the Bible, and I pray it will bless your heart. I want to speak to you on the, on the way we can live the Christian life, the way we can live the Christian life. And it's important. We know, number one, that it's impossible to live the Christian life in our own strength. We need the hope and help from someone else in order to make it. And we find that help in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we find that help in the power of the Holy Spirit that lives in the Christian's life. And so over in, in the book of Philippians, we read where <clears throat> Paul is saying, and uh, the mighty apostle knew where his power came from. It was not in Paul, it was in the Savior. And Paul said, Oh, that I might know him and the power of his resurrection. Oh, and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable to his death. <clears throat> now here's, a, here's a, a doctrine and a formula to live the Christian life. Number one, that you may know that I may know Jesus and the power of his resurrection. And then that I may be because of that power of his resurrection that I will be able to fellow, have fellowship with his suffering. You see, Christian, we must suffer in this world to some degree. All Christians must suffer somehow, some way, in order for us to fulfill the calling of God. Because this is the way we grow in grace. And this is the way we become strong in faith. And this is the way we come to know more and more of the value of prayer. It's by, it's by facing difficulties facing situations that we cannot solve. And so Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Now he came out, he died for your sins and mine, hallelujah. He shed his blood that we could live forever. But he shed his blood so that our sins could be forgiven because the Bible says without the shedding of blood, God will not forgive sin. But the blood has been shed, the sins have been paid for. And when he said on the cross, it is finished, just before he gave up the, the, the spirit, he, he, was meant, he meant by that that all our sins are paid for, all of them. Praise God, it's finished, hallelujah. And then he says that in the fellowship of his suffering and, the, and, and being made conformable to his death, that is that we may <clears throat> we'll look to ourselves as being clear out of the picture, as a Christian, dear friend, try to look to the Lord more and more and less and less to yourself. Deny yourself as best you can and seek to please God with everything that you do. And now we see here, the first thing is the power of his resurrection. And the Greek word there, power, in our vernacular is translated dynamite. It's the dynamite of the gospel. Praise the Lord. And dear Christian, you that believe in Jesus, you have this resurrection power in your life. When he came out of the tomb, he came out to give you life. And he gives you life that will never, never, never leave you. You will never lose it. It's eternal life. It's ever living life. It's everlasting life. And the Bible teaches that you have it when you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's the power of his resurrection, dynamite. You've got spiritual dynamite in your life, Christian. A power that can move the rocks in the mountain, a power that can bring things around, a power that can change lives. And so we need to see the power of his resurrection is so important in the living of the Christian life. And there'll be some more things that I'll be talking about later because time uh, is not available at this point to go into all of them. But I want to speak on the fact of the resurrection over in Colossians, in the second chapter of Colossians. It teaches us again the value of the resurrection and the value of how we're to, to see that, that Christ has taken away our sins and nailed them to his cross. And having done that, he rose from the grave to give us life eternal. And so praise God. 
he's already paid for all our sins they're paid for and now he has risen from the grave and he arose again the third day and he lives forever and he's living now in glory and he's living now for you he knows you he knows your name he knows what you need and he's going to supply it he knows where you're going he's going to lead you he knows what's happening to you and he's there to make the things happen right the Lord is your hope and strength in him we move and live and have our being we live the Christian life by the grace of God Paul said I live yet not I but Christ lives in me that's the secret of living the powerful Christian life Christ lives in you dear Christian Christ lives in you now do your best to let him do the things that you cannot do in yourself from your heart but from your heart you can accomplish the impossible when you depend on God and the dynamite of his resurrection hallelujah this is so important so important he lives and because he lives we shall live also I'm grateful for that I'm grateful for the fact over in Acts in the 17th chapter and uh, verse 31 it says but God has appointed a day in, in which he will judge the world and he's going to judge the world by that man Christ Jesus who he has given us assurance in that he has raised him from the dead hallelujah one day Christ is coming back one day we're going to go to meet him and when we go to meet him we'll stand before him and give account of the good things we've done we'll be rewarded of the bad things we've done, they're under the blood. But oh, praise God, we need to live in His strength, resurrection power, and live, live to please God, to praise God, to try to obey His word, and live to the glory of our God who loved us and gave Himself for us. Hallelujah. Jesus lives, and because He lives, we shall live also. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Up from the grave he arose With a mighty triumph for his foes He arose a victor from the dark domain And he lives forever with his saints to reign He arose, he arose, hallelujah Christ arose, death could not keep his prey, Jesus my Savior, he bore the sins away, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes, he arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose, amen, amen and amen. I want you to pray a brief prayer with me if you need to pray this prayer, asking God to save you and Jesus to come into your heart. Just pray a prayer and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins on Calvary. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen. God bless you, dear friend. Find you a good church and worship God with his people and let the Lord be your strength. Amen. And remember, to live the Christian life, we need the resurrection power and we have it in Jesus our Lord. Amen and amen.